I'm Mandy Butler on behalf of Expert Village and we're going to talk about tumble track warm-ups today. Now I'm going to add a back tuck to my standing back handspring. That makes it really, really important that I snap my legs through before I punch up into that tuck. Now the reason I've put this foam down on the mat is because it's very easy in a skill like this to over rotate and land on your back because you're trying to push through your toes so much. So I've added a little bit of foam to give the tramp some resistance so I don't do that. So what I'm going to do is just like I talked about before, in that rebound moment, instead of rebounding, I'm going to turn that jump into a back tuck. So my back tuck goes where my rebound otherwise would be. So the back handspring is exactly the same. Just make sure that I bring my feet through and punch into the tuck because if I leave them too far behind me, I'm going to undercut my tuck and I'm not going to have enough momentum to get myself around. So I'm going to start in the same position I started with for the back handspring. The only difference is I'm going to add the back tuck. Notice in the back tuck, I bring my knees to my chest so my hips rotate backward if I try to reach forward, I'm going to lose rotation and send myself going the direction I just came from, which I don't want to do. So this is the standing back handspring back tuck. 